Our first competitor is Jeff Hill with his dog Muse making their way onto the field. Muse is a two-year-old Australian Shepherd. They come from Anaheim, California, so just a few minutes away from home. Now again, these are two-minute choreographed routines set to music. There are no required tricks, but the judges are judging this 50 points on the handler and 50 points on the dog. So this is truly a team competition here today. They're looking at all sorts of factors of, for the handler, uh, showmanship. They're looking at different throws, the difficulty of those throws, of the moves for the dog, the athletic ability, and several different areas that our esteemed panel of judges will be watching today in these routines. Jeff Hill. So they're going to do a combination of long distance work as he's starting off his routine here as well as inside maneuvers and tricks it's all about flow and the catch percentage matters and that's tough right there the catch and release quick disc throws definitely a difficult remember Shalene he got fourth at, at nationals Purina Farms so he got the invite here last year so you know, first competitor of six you might be able to see the winning run right out of the gate. Although we do have Kirby McElveen, our last year's champion here. She runs last of the six competitors. Doing a nice job right now, especially with the wind. When you see that distant shot of the flags, they are definitely flapping. We've got the ocean breeze coming off of the beach, as you can see right behind the grandstands there. And of course, that affects the throws in freestyle flying disc. So the competitors have to account for that wind in trying to place the disc in the appropriate spot for the dogs. Jeff says the strength of Muse, Shaleen, is the catch percentage. Muse catches almost everything, which we see <laughs> so far. you can see right there, no doubt. And he put that down on paper, so you gotta be pretty confident about that. And, and in the event of a tie, it's the catch percentage yep. that would break a tie, so. It does matter, especially if the competition and the judging is close. Jeff's an engineer when not uh, running Muse on a field with discs. Great job. Just catching wow. everything. It's awesome. And again, that's difficult, being out there catching one and dropping and being able to catch another one, because a lot of times they like to hold on to that first disc. Yeah. So that's a good skill that the judges will be calculating. Again, it's all subjective too. I mean, it is what it is when you throw the judges out there and there's the criteria that you outlined, Shaleen, handler skills, dog skills, you know, the catch percentage, but at the same time, if you can wow this crowd, that'll play a factor for sure. And here we go into the bonus round. The bonus round, just to let you know, so there's basically 50 points for handler skills, dog skills, covered that, Shaleen. The catch percent, or bonus catch, one point each. There's two total bonus throws. And what they have to do, the objective, is to throw it across the entire field. And you will see a Perina square, a white square on the end of the field. Now, the dog has to catch the disc out of the air and have all four paws landing in the square for it to earn an extra point. And that extra point, as we've seen many times over the years, Shalene, can be the factor. Can be the deciding factor between first and second, this bonus catch. Here we go. All the way across the field. Almost. Did they get it? I think it counts. I think so. Let's see here. All four. Nope. Oh, no. Lands all four out, but it was so close. And this is where the wind really, especially in those long distance throws, you can see the flags again, you know, it can push the disc and not have it get the distance. So a little bit more oomph, let's see if he can get it in there. And yes, yes. that one will count. And that'll, again, when we talk about the small point differences in this event, although there's 102 points you can obtain, that one point might make the difference for Jeff Hill and Muse doing a great job and they're gonna kick things off. We'll get a score for you shortly, but that's the way to get it done, and that's the way to kick off the freestyle flying disc event. 
a good, fast-paced routine. They worked well together as a, as a pair. And of course, once again, this is truly the team competition of all of our events, since the handler is judged as well. Purina Pro Plan, nutrition that performs.